Hey, what's up there, fishermen and fisher ladies? It's Angel with Cut It Outdoors, and welcome to this terminal tech tip where I'm going to teach you the Davy knot, more specifically, the double Davy knot. And though this knot is not very well known in the bass fishing community because it does come out of the fly fishing community, but I have brought it in to my bass fishing and I have been using this knot for over four years now and it has not let me down. So we're going to be talking about the the origin of this knot and the benefits but if all you want to do is just learn to tie the knot and then be gone well here we go let's go tie this knot all right so here's a knot i have for demonstration purposes a seven uh hook and some 25 pound test fluorocarbon line now i'm going to go through the eye of the hook And I'm going to do a half hitch, start a half hitch, followed by a figure eight around the top and through the top line, around the top and through the bottom line. And there it is. You trim your tag end, and there it is. Let's do that one more time. There we go. A half inch and a figure eight. And there it is. Okay. Let me de let me explain. The very crucial part of this knot here. Okay. So notice that when I start my half hitch, I'm going over this line. This tag end is laying on top of this running line. Now when I go through, it's got to come back over and lay on top of this top leg here because we created these two legs it's got to go up and over the top of that one and around and up and over the top of this one and around and through and done and it locks down it is very crucial if you don't get that right it will slip one of the Characteristics of this knot is once you tie it, you could feel it when it locks down. You could feel it when it locks down. Another of the characteristics that we're going to talk about is this, the tag end. Notice the tag end on this knot. Here we're going to go with our figure eight. There's that tag end. Look at that tag end. That tag end is sticking straight out to the side and slightly back towards the eye of the hook. That is the indication that that knot is done right. First indication is it locks down. It will lock down. Second indication is that tag. If that tag end is sticking straight down or straight up, something's wrong and you're going to know it when you cinch it down because if this knot is wrong, it's going to slip. Remember the order that I said, if you bring that line up and over, it's got to go up and over the other line and up and over the other line, just the way I demonstrated it. That's the way this knot needs to go. If not, it will slip and you'll know it. That is one of the benefits of this knot, that it will slip before you even get it into the water if you did it wrong. If you did it right, I have not had this knot slip, slip on me at all. Okay, so the history of this knot comes from, I believe, uh, some Welsh man. Uh, he was in the uh, fly fishing tournament uh, community, and his name is Davy Watton. 
or Wu Tan or whatever his name, however you pronounce that. But this was back in the 1950s. He wanted a knot that he could tie fast on the water without taking too much time. And uh, it, it had to be fast and it had to be simple. And this knot is definitely fast and simple. As you saw, of course, here I'm demonstrating. I demonstrated that on the desk. And because I'm talking through it, it's taking me time. But I can tie this very fast. And so... The properties, the beneficial properties of this knot are that one, it is fast and it is a very fast knot to tie. Once you get it down, it is fast. The second uh, property that is lends to this knot being a very good knot is that you know when it is right. As I demonstrated, it has three distinctions that indicate uh, that you correctly tied it. One like I said, is that it locks down. When you tie that knot, it locks down. Two is that tag end. Uh, it's slightly sticking straight out the side, but slightly to the back. And lastly, if you tie it wrong, when you go to cinch this knot down, it slips. So there is no, you know, I lost the fish because the knot slipped. No, it's going to slip when you, when you uh, cinch that knot down. Three is a very small size that I demonstrated with the four pound test on that 16 pound nymph hook. Number four uh, of the beneficial properties is minimal leader loss. And so this is uh, beneficial to bass fishermen who are fishing a braid to leader because in the fly tying world, you have a tapered leader, but only two feet of that leader is actually what the pound test whether we're fishing a 5x tippet which is a for instance that is a five pound test line but only the last two feet of that are five pound test it begins to taper up so if you're you're you know breaking off if you're uh, losing flies in the trees <laughs> if you're for whatever reason you're retying you're uh, getting not you're losing that leader real fast so the benefits of this is you can tie this with very minimal leader loss and for you guys who fish braid to leader you know it's going to be a long time before you have to retie a whole leader and so uh, that is one of the great benefits number five is its strength this is a very strong knot and uh, some would say that it has a a line strength retention of 85% to 100%. Others would say that's a bunch of low, a bunch of crap, but um, uh, it, it is very strong. And number six, and the most important reasons uh, and, and, you know, properties that this knot has is its minimal loops. It has very minimal loops compared to, say, like an improved clinch knot, which is the only knot I knew other than a Palomar knot. And so there is very low risk to burning this knot when you cinch it down. Of course, every knot you tie, you have to lubricate it, whether you wet it in water, put some spit on it, whatever. But there is very minimal loops to create friction and burn that knot. Now I'll tell you what, if it, those of you guys who tie a Palomar knot, you know, there's a reason why you have to pull on the tag end line to cinch it down. And the tag end line, what's it end up with? The little squiggly on it. You know what that squiggly line, that little squiggly uh, coil in your line means? It means you heated it. And so that's why you do that with the tag end instead of the main lines. If you grab both lines and you cinch them down, they are going to both be squiggly. And you know what? That is, you have just compromise the main strength of your line improved clinch knot there's just so many wraps on that that gives you so 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 many potential to burn that line by friction and so uh hopefully this helps hopefully you can add this uh knot to your arsenal it has helped me out i tie it other than the polymer knot for a drop shot i this i tie this exclusively for everything from a size 18 nymph for fly fishing to a size 7-out hook 
for whatever, for bass. And so hopefully this helps and hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this. If uh, this has been any help, leave a comment down below. Uh, like, subscribe. I, I'm hoping to have more videos uh, like this to teach a few different things that I may know that you may not. And so hope it helps.